Immortal John Hancock here and today I'd like to do a follow-up with a previous video I did with Chris Lincoln on his Castlevania hack Castlevania the Holy Relics and you know the footage that he showed last time he was here um, the the project was unfinished he has finally completed this and not only that it's available on physical cart which is really cool I don't know about you but sometimes when I play a classic game I play it over and over again and that's what's fun about hacks is that there's people out there that take a great idea a great game and make it better and so I just wanted to showcase the final complete ROM of Castlevania the Holy Relics play a couple levels show you the graphics and some of the changes that he did to Castlevania it's an extensive hack it's essentially like a different game with some of the same familiar graphics that we've seen and it's 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 cool it's really neat he did a great job and uh, let me show it to you all right here we go Castlevania the Holy Relics this is a great hack of Castlevania uh, done by my good friend Chris Lincoln. Chris Lincoln showed an early demo of this on my channel a while back and he talked a lot about the development of it and it is finished now. So after getting some feedback from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo from people playing it, he has gone back and made some changes. And what's really cool I like about this hack is that it, it's the combination of some graphics from some other programmers and a lot of his hard work uh, put together this great game. So you can choose one of five levels and the goal is to find a key in each level to advance to beat a boss which then gives you unlocks a holy relic and each other level that you play you choose a holy relic to choose and it gives you different powers. So I'll just show you the start of it. And I guess the start can be anything you want. It's one of five things, but, you know, um, it's great. You know, it's like one thing I, I want to say is that, you know, I don't know about you, but sometimes I love a game so much that that's when hacks are a lot of fun to play because they give you the same great feeling of playing a, a classic game, but a totally different experience. And so it's, you know, what I like about Holy Relics is, you know, I feel like I'm playing Castlevania, but it, everything's new again, you know, and it's, I, I love that. I love that. And Chris Lincoln he did a great job putting this together. And, you know, again, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So, yep, you find these keys and uh, you can advance. It's really cool. So I just wanted to show some of the different levels. And uh, you, got some, you got some classic Castlevania here. So I really... Uh, I, you know, I, one thing, a game I'd really like them to do an extensive hack on would be uh, the Nintendo Ghosts and Goblins. You know, for as much praise as that gets, it could be a lot better now. You know, especially with some of the, um, you know, graphic enhancements that uh, some programmers have really pushed Ghosts and Goblins. I'd really like to see um, a, a better version of that of that game. And so I'm a, I'm a big Ghouls and Ghosts fan, you know, and even Super Ghouls and Ghosts, you know, graphically. So I'd really, I'd really like to see that. All right. Next up, I'm going to show you uh, Camilla Crypt. And again, until I beat a level, I can have to select the same relic. So that's, um, you, you select a relic and you beat, you beat the game, uh, sorry, you beat the level, and then it unlocks uh, that relic. So, nice to see uh, classic Castlevania power-ups here. Not power-ups, but uh, <laughs> special weapons. I like the crosses in the background, it's pretty sweet. Almost got it there. Oh. Yep, birds are just as annoying in this game. Let's see here. 
Oh, cool. You know, let's talk about let's talk about Konami and Castlevania. You know, that's that's definitely a franchise. It's like, you know, I was just talking to a good friend of mine, John Rose, and I'm like, you know, we've seen some great remakes from companies, you know, uh, you know, and not so great remakes, but taking these classic franchises and doing something with them. It's so sad. It really is sad that Konami hasn't done anything with a classic Castlevania. I mean, really, I mean, it wouldn't development cost wouldn't be that much to do a 2d castlevania i mean i think about all the great uh game boy advance games that they've done you know and i know that they you know that they've seen better days as a company but it'd really be neat to see konami make a classic castlevania again and you know talk about a great platform for that the switch would be amazing i'm gonna go show you finally a uh, tamnita tower and uh you know again i just wanted to show you some of the different levels that are offered on this not all of them you know, it's really cool. I like I like that you can select your level to begin with, you know, add some different challenges. Every level has its own kind of unique setup. And again, the graphics are well done. Does I do believe uh, you know this uh, the cartridges will play on many of the clone systems. I don't know all of them that it'll play on. But again, uh, if you want a physical of this it's uh, Lost Classics. So I'm also going to put a link to the programmer's uh, webpage. And it talks more about kind of his hacks that he's done of Castlevania. And, you know, he's just a good guy. He's done some great stuff for Calix Gamers for Kids. He did an uh, extensive Guardian Legend hack that he... Uh, so found the key. Yay! Nice clean graphics too. It's got some good color. Um, his use of color palette's pretty good too. It's impressive. It's not not what I wanted to do. Oh dang! I'm getting hammered here. And I'm dead. <laughs> womp womp. Back do I go. Back I go. And I don't have the key. So that's interesting. So you have the key. If you have the key, you... Yep. So what did you think? Is this something that you'd be interested in playing? Well, there's a link below to Lost Classics if you'd like to get it on physical. I'm also going to put a link to Christopher Lincoln's development page. And he talks about his, his work that he's done. So thank you so much. And I want to take this time to mention and thank all the hardworking YouTubers out there who are just starting out or are working hard to kind of make ends meet. Um, it's a hard time right now. And I, I, my heart goes out to you folks. And I'm thinking about you. And there's many out there. There's many people that support my channel. And I just want to say my heart, uh, I'm really thinking about you right this time. And, you know, this is what I like to do on my channel is I like to support many independent people. Lost Classics, Chris Trimmey is a good friend of mine. He's done a lot of support for Calix Gamers. And Christopher Lincoln, who made this game, uh, he's done a lot of uh, great things. He's a great friend and a great person. So, again, these are just independent people trying to eke out a living. And, you know, that's the type of people I like to support, you know. And I just... Uh, I'm thinking of everybody who's going through these uh, trying times. I know with YouTube changing some things up. And uh, this motivated me to show this on my channel. And and just think of thinking of you folks. And I think all the support I get. And if it wasn't for a lot of people supporting me, um, I'd be in a different spot now. So thank you so much. And again, I'm still doing three videos a week. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.